Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the Cursed Captain here with an advanced guide on the new chain shots in the Sea of Thieves. I will be covering everything you need to know about these beautiful new toys, most importantly, where and how to aim them. But before I do, I quickly wanted to share with you I am on a quest to become a full time content creator and could really use your help. If you enjoy this content and find this video useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. With each sub I get, I get one step closer to my dream. And if you enjoy watching live streams, also consider checking me out over on Twitch. Now, with that being said, let's learn how to shoot chain shots like a total pirate badass and send some scurvy legends to the ferryman in the process. With the introduction of the chain shot, you scallywags are probably wondering what are the best ways to use these new beauties and how in whale lord's name do I aim them? Well, don't you worry your pretty little cursed hearts, I will show you everything you need to know. Let's start with where you can find them. You can now find these chain shots along with the fire bombs and blunder bombs stocked in every ship when you load in, which means every ship on the seas will have these in their arsenal from the beginning. Outside of being stocked on the ship, you'll find these throughout the world just like any other cannonball type, so just keep an eye out for those barrels and make sure to keep you and your ship well stocked. Now let's talk a bit about the best uses for chain shot. These new cannonball types when hitting a mast, capstan, or helm will cause max damage. What that means is if you hit an enemy mast, it will instantly bring it down. If you hit an enemy capstan, it will destroy it, making it difficult for them to bring up their anchor. And if you hit the helm with it, they will be in trouble and unable to maneuver effectively. In short, a well-placed chain shot can be absolutely devastating. There are a couple things to consider when aiming a cannonball type. So before we get into the unique nature of the chain shots, let's quickly cover the basics of aiming your cannon. The most important factors in hitting your target is the angle of your cannon and the range of what you are shooting. Cannonballs, pirates, and chain shots all shoot out of the cannon differently, which means each one of them need a different angle to hit your target. To show you what I mean, I've aimed this cannon to hit this rock. The cannonballs, cars cannonballs, fire bombs, and blunder bombs all hit the same spot when firing from a cannon. However, when firing your pirate from the cannon with the same angle, we will see some differences in range. Your pirate has a faster drop than a cannonball, which means to hit the target, you need to adjust your angle up. Now let's talk about the chain shots. With the same original angle that we use with the cannonballs to hit the target, we can now see how the chain shot fires. It drops faster and travels a shorter distance. So that means to hit the same target as the cannonballs, you need to adjust your angle up by a little bit. Now that we have covered angles, the next big factors in hitting your target are your movement speed and rotation. These significantly add to the difficulty of hitting your target, as you can see here by my examples. When you consider the movement and the speed of your ship with the added rotation, you have to lead your shots a bit to hit your target. The best advice that I can give you is to practice, practice, and practice. As a pirate, you have a lot of things to consider when in battle, so practicing your shot with movement and rotation and having those factors become second nature to you will be key. Now that we have covered some of the basics on how to aim the cannonballs and the chain shots, let's talk about what you are aiming for. To bring down mass with chain shots, you can hit them anywhere. I wanted to make sure this was true, so I tested it on my own ship. I parked my ship next to the tower and shot at the base of the mast, the middle of the mast, and the top of the mast. Each shot brought max damage. I also noticed that the chain shots have a wider spread with the cannonballs, which gives you a little bit of grace when you're aiming them. An advanced tip here would be if you board an enemy ship but don't have a way to disable them, you can actually now use these chain shots to shoot the crossbeam with the cannons, effectively immobilizing the enemy ship. Let's talk about the helm and the capstan. Now hitting these can be a bit tricky, but a good target to aim for would be the center mass. With my test, I discovered that hitboxes for both the capstan and the helm are a bit larger than you would think, which means if you can get your shots close, that may be all that you need. While I would not recommend wasting these beauties on an enemy 
ship's hull, they can be used in a pinch if you have no regular cannonballs. They will cause a small amount of damage to a ship's hull and can be quickly patched. And last but certainly least, you can definitely use these chain shots on an enemy pirate. They will take 50% of a pirate's health demonstrated here by my mate Stray Chris, the violent one. Yes, he volunteered for this, I did not put him up for it. Chain shots are a great tool, but I want you pirates to think of them as a special tool. They are not perfect in every situation, but when used properly can completely destroy the other crew. Take this example from one of my Twitch streams. We were taking down a brig and the first shot that we hit them with was with a cursed cannonball, specifically the anchor ball. We could have used a chain shot, but in this case we wanted to stop them and then immobilize them. After we hit them with the anchor ball, we boarded and then used the chain shots to bring down their mass so that they could not get away. So my biggest tip for you when considering the chain shots in a battle is to think of them as something to use to disable the enemy ship. Or this example, my mate Salarintha was able to land a chain shot on the main mast, followed by another shot detonating a keg in the crow's nest causing the ship to catch on fire, and well he just all around dumpstered them. This is a great example of how you can use the chain shots when you are in a battle, giving your crew the advantage and slowing the enemy down. This allowed us to catch up, board, steal, plunder, and murder. These new chain shots are an amazing new addition to the Sea of Thieves and one of my personal favorites. Outside of the blunder bombs that is, because let's be honest, who doesn't love those little blunder bombs? Speaking of blunder bombs, have you seen my advanced guide? If not, you can check that video out here. Well mates, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to most about these new chain shots. And of course, I hope to see you scurvy dogs out on the seas with lots of treasure that I can steal from you. Bye.